Cool, we're live. Got about 50 pounds worth of crap on my back. That's, that's not that's actually not 50 pounds. Probably 30, but still, it's a lot of weight. It sucks I don't have proper pain management anymore because I don't have the CBD that I can utilize anymore. I have to pass the drug tests in order to get gabapentin. So I took a liver killing amount of Tylenol, 2,000 milligrams, and ate a Danish for breakfast, a cherry Danish. just to take enough of the edge off to be able to walk around with a bajillion pounds of canned goods and drinks on my back. My hubby's been sick lately with vomiting and stuff like that. Don't know what's been making him sick, but he's feeling better today, thankfully. And yeah, I have all these barriers in my way, go figure. Despite all the weight I've dropped, my back already hurts me bad. I'm struggling. I just gotta push through. There's only like 10, 15 minutes until I can get home. I just gotta deal with it for that long and just push through. When I was using CBD, my back didn't hurt nearly as much. Not by a long shot, but without it, my back hurts like hell. Like everything is challenging. It sucks. And here I have to practically step into the road because again, the bam daggum barriers. They really need to be more mindful of pedestrians. Pass that daggum drug test here in a couple of weeks. So I can't use CBD. I'm gonna talk to the doctor about my options because I have an arthritic spine. CBD works well for arthritis. And I have kidney disease, so there's a whole slew of medications that's off the table for me. Medications like Celebrex and Diclofenac, off the table. Ibuprofen, off the table. I can't take them. That rag right here, my sinus is screwed already. I can't take Diclofenac and Celebrex. Can you get any closer to me, dickhead? Sorry, they really close to me. Anyway, I can't take these medications because of the kidney disease. And the problem is, is Diclofenac was like a godsend. Now granted, the CBD worked better than the Diclofenac, but the Diclofenac allowed me to get up and go, and it took a lot of the pain away. 
but I can't get it anymore because of the kidney disease. And so the options are Tylenol, according to my nephrologist, is Tylenol or opioids. Those are my options. And I'm on a medication called Livaldi, which has an opioid antagonist in it to help combat weight gain and by antipsychotic, which is Zyprexa and an opioid antagonist. Without it, my weight just spirals out of control. When I was on straight Zyprexa, I gained 60 pounds in a short period of time, in like six months, like 10 pounds a month. It's very hard to control your cravings. And it's very hard to control your portions and all that when your antipsychotic is making you crave things and making you hungry. And I know people are going to be like, well, just stop taking the antipsychotic. I can't. I have schizophrenia. I'll schizoaffective disorder. Which is basically schizophrenia with a mood disorder. But I have schizophrenia. And with the Lavalvi or Zyprexa, I'm considered a recovered schizophrenic. I still go psychotic here and there, sometimes really bad. But for the most part, I remain mostly stable, and my eating and drinking is staying stable as well. And I don't drink soda pops anymore. There's that as well. I gave that up because of the kidney disease. The weight loss, I need to lose more weight. I think I got it. The more weight I can drop, the better I will be for my back and my knees. I get injections for my knees, but I can't get the injections for my spine. So, I just have to take Tylenol for now. I want to speak to my doctor when I go to my appointment in a couple of weeks for the contract and the drug test. I want to let him know that the CBD was working for me for my pain, that it's unfair. But I have kidney disease, and the only option is basically Tylenol. While everybody else gets all these other options that work so much better. And I'm stuck with being only being able to take a bit of the edge off or have to take liver-killing amounts of Tylenol to be able to get through my day. It's unfair. But I want him to concede the lobby to use CBD. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's worth a shot. Because as it goes, I can either use CBD and be fine with my kidney and liver, or I can be without the CBD and I can destroy my liver. One of these two things are going to happen. And depending on how my doctor responds when I do the drug test, well, it's in his court. He can either let me use my money to buy legal substance that's legal to buy and legal to use, or 
he can accept the fact that he's fucking killing me. Those are his options. I'm not going to word it that way, time. I'm going to be cordial. It's just... It sucks not having adequate pain pain relief. on as many hikes unless I do damage my liver. another vlog when I see the doctor for the contract and drug test to make an update about what the doctor says I can't even see the creek right now. So much grass in the way. Here's the creek behind me. ask me if I will continue with uh, something scary stories and I've been thinking about it and I still haven't decided with the walking home compilation and the official compilation I can edit videos and I can render them and I can render them for a long period of time the laptop can handle it. I was worried that it couldn't and I was expecting it to crash, but it handles it just fine. So I can edit videos. So that's not an issue. The question remains is like, do I want to continue to do the stories 
And do I want to continue to talk about scary things? And I just haven't decided yet. I also got asked when's the next beer drinking video. And the answer to that is the next time I can get to the beer store, I can grab one four loco, and that's all the money I have that I can spend on beer. The rest of it is money that was donated to me to me by my dad for my hubby's antibiotics. So that money saved solely for medical reasons. <laughs>